Hello there and welcome to Frostpunk. Now we're finally starting a series on this, uh, hopefully we'll get through some of them before Frostpunk 2 comes out. But essentially we're gonna go through these scenarios and the first one will be the new home. And uh, we have an option to turn on the survivor mode, but I will not. Instead we'll go and customize the scenario, we'll go extreme. And I'll explain this really, really quickly. So the, well, actually, yeah, let's go back. So survival mode, when we turn it on, it disables the pause button. And the main reason, I'm not really a safe scum, but the main reason I do this is there are a couple of locations too, in fact, I think, at, uh, where it's not really up to us and our decisions don't affect the outcome. It's really 100% RNG, so... So yeah, let's just go hard, extreme everything, and uh, here we go, let's get it started. Now this game is extremely... well, it's quite difficult in the first place, unless you're play, playing on an easy mode, of course, but uh, with the extreme settings, that is going to be definitely very painful. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of all, stripped with pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, Lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, Step by step. We knew the cost of our journey. And we paid the price. A hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. And here we go. I think with most notifications in these events, what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll just skip them. But if you'd like to read through uh, through of them, then uh, feel free to pause the uh, pause the video and uh, and have a look. Right. Uh, well, here it is. Let's just pause the game real quick. We are gonna pass our first law, and that of course is going to be the emergency. Uh, shift. So we start with 65 people, out of which 50 are workers and 15 are engineers. Well, actually 80, because we also have 15 kids, but we, well, the kids aren't very, very helpful or useful to us at this stage at all. Uh, do you know what? We would like to actually get this pile done there. So with this one, we'll have engineers and workers mixed. Um... You're going to be emergency shift. Um, yeah, I think the same is going to happen with the other wood pile. Now, the people are not going to, of course, uh, like working 24 hours. So the discontent has already skyrocketed. But that's fine. We're halfway through there and we should be able to manage that. I think we might also do, it, do the same for this deal, but not entirely sure just yet. First thing we're gonna want to build is the workshop. We just need a few more steel. Here it is. And so let's plop it down here. So the five engineers 
um, that are not blocking the resources of this cold land are going to help us build this. And they shall also work in here. And the first research I would like to done would like to do is either the beacon or resources uh, under here we've got the fast gathering um faster gathering seems to be more important right now so we'll do that what i'll also do how much wood do we have not enough is the answer let's just pause you real quick let's have a look working day and night we shall not address this Ooh, and the discontent just goes up by a lot okay we need another 24 25 I mean and let's um, pause you as well you can do it at night time uh, we'll do what we can and the work shift is over for everyone so let's turn on and we'll do the same we'll provide some shelter and what we'll also do we'll take the engineers out and put them in the medical posts instead uh, what are you gonna tell us? Okay, you're welcome. Good. Um, right, five of you go in here. We are gonna get a lot of sick people since they don't have any homes. Can we build some homes though? Might be able to put uh, one in here. Um, wait, let's see. Um, maybe we can do a few more. Let's do two for the time being. Once it hits 11, we'll turn on the overtime uh, drive as well, so it's nice and toasty in there. And yeah, we've already got four, four sick people, five. Another law. We'll go with the extended shift first. Because I would like those engineers to start working nice and early. Okay, only eight sick people. Well, that's good. Less than 10 is good, because that's the maximum amount of sick people we can attend to now it's gonna be pretty tough right from the start because oh let's turn you off as well we need to preserve some of that coal all right uh, in about two days temperature is gonna drop drastically yeah that is rather painful we shall have cookhouse very soon over there But we also need a few more houses. They're not really houses, they're more like tents. Yeah. Uh, heating is off, okay, that's good. Wood crates are depleted, so that means you could... Yeah, go over there. The same is gonna happen with the other pile as well. One. Off you go. And we'll get the resources from there. Uh... Actually, you know what? We, we are going to need some steel, so let's get the steel instead. No, we won't address this. The faster gathering is done now, which means next hour on our list will be, will be the beacon. Nice. Uh, people are going to start getting hungry. Okay, we should be fine. We'll start cooking up some stuff tomorrow. Um, do you know what? And more coal as well. Let's do it that way. And we'll get the people to build all those buildings as well. Right, food is going to be the next priority, so let's take a look. A hunter's hut. Uh, that stuff could go. Yeah, I guess we could build it here. And another law. Right, so what shall we do? I think we're going to go with the radical treatment. Which means we can treat the gravely ill and there's a chance that they will become amputees. But that's okay. Um, we'll be able to give them prosthetics. Uh, a little bit later. Well, hopefully no one's going to become gravely ill, but you'll never know. 
Uh, right, let's get the discontent a little lower. Got 25 steel left in there, and mm, tomorrow we're also going to have to start building. Uh, let's see, we've got enough wood right now. Yeah, we're going to have to start building gathering huts. Uh, <laughs> steel, we've got a bit of steel right now. Hmm. Now we'll send out the hunters a little bit later. Uh, overdrive. And we got the last tent up and running as well, which raises the hope a little bit. Okay, let's speed up the time. We'll get through another night. And, oh uh, no. Too many sick people. Yeah, that's too many. Well, let's see. Um, 80 hungry. But at least we're making some food now, so that's good. Six hours until we get the beacon. That should be good. And you've cooked up everything. So let's... Um, hmm. Yeah, let's get some more more wood all right so only one sick left i'm not ideal oh we should have probably turned you off as well just to preserve uh, some of that coal much do we have we have a little bit in the reserves right another less than an hour and we shall build the beacon Pretty much straight away. And let's see if we take out. Right, uh, resource wise, Hunter's gear is probably gonna be next. We could have also gone for the bit of more steel, but we have a little bit left in here. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the next thing. Right, next law is going to be overcrowding, so that way we can just keep more, Listen, everyone. Um, treat more, more be be people. Uh, that's the word I was looking for. Right, then unemployed, because ah, you're building the beacon. That is fine, we want to send out those scouts. Oh, here we go. Raising that balloon. And with the balloon now raised, we'll be able to access the Frostland. Right, so that means fire workers. Let's send you to the Lost Expedition. With the rest, um, we're gonna get some more... Um, yeah, wood from there. What we're also gonna do is, since we have quite a bit of steel... Yeah, we'll take you out and you are going to be hunters. Uh, yep, we need a win that we for sure shall need. Okay, time to turn you on. Uh, okay, we're gonna need some more shelter. Um, <laughs> okay, it's gonna drop another two levels, so... Yeah, let's um, build another two houses. And that should be enough. We'll also need to build a gathering post for all these ones here. That should be far enough for them. But we're also going to need one over there. So let's measure, measure you out. I will also pause the time. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Uh, right, so that's a bit of a pain. Gathering post. How far do you need to go?
All right. Now the hunters should be heading out to... Oh, this gold bar is done. Okay, so that's good to know. And the hunters should be should be heading out as well to... Uh, yeah, we definitely need some more food. They're going to give us 11. Oh, that's not a, not a lot. But now once the temperature drops, we're going to have to pull everyone out of those different piles. I think we only have some wood crates here and a few in the steel. Yep, so all of them will be coming out. I think that's all the people we have. Yep, that is correct. And we're gonna have to stop building this road as well. How far can we go? About there. And we're out of wood. <sighs> okay. Well, five of you shall work there. Actually, how much more time do we have? One day and 19 hours. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna need resources ASAP. And 6 in the morning is when you'll start working overdrive on. Oh, there we go. Shelter promise fulfilled. Ooh, then are starving. Okay. And brace yourselves, it's about to get even toastier. We'll send you to the city. Whilst we shall go and get some... Let's see. Uh, we want resources. Hmm. Sturdy shelter or observatory? Let's have a look in the observatory real quick. And right, we can turn off the overdrive now. <laughs> 20 people are still homeless. We'll definitely want to have some homes for them. And today we're going to have to leave the generator on because, um, yeah, it's just going to get too cold. Alright, there it goes, minus 40. Yikes. we still got five more people. Are they engineers? No, they are not. And the food is back as well. Hmm. Right, we need some more coal, so let's connect those roads up. Do you know what? You can go and stop building those roads as well. Right, Hunter's Gear Research, so that's good. Steelworks is probably going to be next since we don't have a lot of wood right now. So let's do that in the meanwhile. And we also don't have a lot of steel left in here, yeah, only 49. Hmm. All right, more survivors. We'll send them home as well whilst we go and check out the sturdy shelter. Uh, 18 hours. Uh, let's see. No signs of movement. Okay, that's quite a lot of people that we don't really have space for. That's okay. Uh, discontent is not a huge problem. Let's see, are we getting engineers? Yes, we are. End of shift. Go rest but we don't have a lot of wood. 32. And here they arrive. Alright. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to look for other other settlements as well. Uh, can't really hit any homes since we don't have the technology for it. Uh, so I definitely don't want to make that promise, that's for sure. Uh, since we have so many people right now, I would love to make another hunter's hut. But we just don't have resources. Uh, 31. How much more time? 6 hours. You know what? Actually. I think we are going to build an extra one. If I mean, if we really have to, we could send them here. But it's just so cold. Um, yeah.
Yeah. And we're probably gonna need some more tents for them as well, but without any heating, it's just gonna be miserable. Alright, another 15 in here. Good. Just so many hungry mouths to feed. Right, the uh, overdrive. Oh, almost forgot. Let's put that on. 17, 18. Sick people. 19. Oh, that's definitely gonna go over. Uh, yeah, that's tough. Um, right, next thing we need to stop making soup. Eddie's gonna bring up the discontent, but instead of four rations from every to uh, two raw foods, we can now make five. And we'll just have to manage the discontent somehow. Right. Uh, I think we can turn off the overdrive. 18 spare hands. But no resources. Let's see, our scouts are about to reach the... Another location. Five hours for this research to be done. Ooh, okay. And we're making some food now. I just hope they're not eating the raw... I think they might have been eating the raw stuff. Hmm. Work time. Get moving. Right. Um... I guess we could. No, there's too many sick people. I don't want to put them in there. Uh, it is, yeah, very cold in there. Um, right, what do we have here? Food and wood. That is beautiful. We are gonna just drop this off. It takes 11 hours to get back, but that is okay. We shall wait for those resources. Now, that's almost done, but we need... Ah, uh, we just need so much more wood. Hmm, I think we're gonna have to stick you in here. 0 0.7 per hour. No, we're not gonna get enough. Unless... Yeah. Alright, Steelworks Research, which means... Um... <laughs> That's what we need, but we need 50 wood. And what time is it right now? Oh, only... Okay, well, I guess the next thing, we, we could two heaters, because we are going to need them later. Um, That requires 25 wood. Yeah, that is a bit of a bottleneck, but in 9 hours we shall have some more. And then we can... Um, Okay, so we made some more foods. At least no one's starving now, so that's good. I would like to take them out soon as well. Just do not want to have anyone working in here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to take them out. They're just going to get sick out there. And that's not good. Yeah, it's going to take a long time to heal all of you. About 10 hours, okay. They should be done before midnight, or roughly more survivors. Which also means more mouths to feed. Right, more hunters are gonna be needed. Let's put you over there. Almost depleted those resources. Still have a lot of steel. Okay, we're producing a lot more coal than we're consuming, so that's uh, that's good, I suppose. I think we can also start building the steelworks here. Uh, but not enough wood. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, let's send another 15 in here. Maybe that's gonna help us out just a little bit. We should be able to connect you up, yep. Right, another low time, but also the scouts have gotten back, so that's good. Uh, let's see, we shall 
send you here first, so we'll take a bit of a shortcut. Since they travel faster if they've already been to a location right next to the fighting arena. That's gonna help us manage the discontent a little bit. Next, 15 wood. That's okay, I think we might just be... No, not quite. Um... That's okay, we'll plop one down here. Actually no. Let's uh let's land this differently. Uh tents. One there, one there. Into a fighting arena. Roughly about there. Okay, so that's uh that's good. Give a few more homes. And since we got so many spare people, I think we also need... Uh, that's in the way. That's not ideal. Hmm. Let's see. Hunter's hut. Guess we could put a temporary one, uh, one here and connect it up like so. And then we'll let them uh, construct the rest of the buildings as well. Probably need another tent here. Oh well, yeah, there's a lot of people actually. Let's do one, two. Hmm. Okay. As soon as this is done, could be... Oh, let's go overdrive. Can we put a few hunters in here? Kind of. Oh, we got so many engineers. Right, so what we could do, put the engineers here. Hunters. I'd actually like to boost our technology as well. Yep, yeah, let's do it that way. Fighting arena is built, so this content should start going down for the people that live in the area. Ooh, 14... Right, we're gonna need some more medical posts. That is going to be a must, but it's just too cold out here. Hmm. Yeah. 15 wood, 5 steel. You know what? We're gonna do another one. We desperately need that technology to come in a little bit faster. Okay, uh, let's send them to the steel bridge. And you're built so five more engineers just to boost up our research process or speed. And yeah, so we are going to need a medical post somewhere here. But where... Guess we could do one there. Yeah, it's too cold, but the uh, heater should be researched rather quickly. And you're almost done as well. Okay, so no more steel. So that's good. We have um, this one ready here. We can send some people over as soon as we have some more spare ones, of course. Heater's done. Uh, next thing, drawing boards. That is a massive must. We only have a bit of wood in here, so those workers will be free soon as well. Let's just turn on the heaters here. Have a look elsewhere as well. Yep, these spots. They all need heaters. The air is just chilly, so... suppose we could turn them on. But... Hmm... Yeah... Let's just leave it at that for the, for the time being. Anyone building that? No. Few engineers. And the patients should be go there, going there now as well. Cool, we can... We have the capacity for 30, but it's still not enough. We'll need at least one more. 